Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 8th of June, Wednesday after Pentecost, Boniface, 672, 754. In her voyage across the ocean of this world, the church is like a great ship being pounded by the waves of life's different stresses. Our duty is not to abandon ship, but to keep her on her course. Let us stand fast in what is right and prepare our souls for trial. Let us wait upon God's strengthening aid and say to him, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge in all generations. Let us trust in him who has placed this burden upon us. What we ourselves cannot bear, let us bear with the help of Christ, for he is all powerful and he tells us my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let us continue the fight on the day of the Lord's. The days of anguish and tribulation have overtaken us. If God so wills, let us die for the holy laws of our fathers so that we may enter into the eternal inheritance with them. Let us be neither dogs that do not bark, nor silent onlookers, nor paid servants who run away before the wolf. Instead, let us be careful shepherds watching over Christ's flock. Let us preach the whole of God's plan to the powerful and to the humble, to rich and to poor, to men of every rank and age as far as God gives us the strength in season and out of season. The prayer, Ernest Fremont Tittle, T-I-T-T-L-E, 1885-1949. O God, who at this time didst pour out thy spirit upon thy church to abide with it forever, grant that the same spirit indwelling our hearts may keep us from falling. Teach us to live according to thy will. Enable us for the work thou givest us to do. Uphold and comfort us in the hour of trial. Beget in us the power to endure faithful to the end. And finally, bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee in the same spirit liveth and reigneth one God, world without end. Amen.